Good morning everybody! So we have steel arriving tomorrow, which is Friday, and uh, in order to make some space, I'm having a quick tidy up. Quick, it's taken me half an hour already. One thing I need to get rid of is the old Alpha, so I'm going to get it prepared to be taken at some point this week, hopefully later today or tomorrow. And uh, basically I just want to save the car battery out of it because it was pretty new and there's about 20 quid's worth of petrol in the tank which I'm going to siphon out and anything else that I think might be of some use and then it can go, it can just go so all in all she's not actually a bad motor under the hood she's got a rock solid engine timing belt's been changed the battery looks fine but obviously she won't start so because uh, she's flat, the battery is flat flat so we'll just whip that out and I'll give my mate a call and then we've got to figure out how to siphon this petrol out, I'm not sure. Right, I've got a chap coming to pick it up today, just like that. So uh, I've got to push the bugger back and get her out ready to go into its shutter doors, to watch shutter doors and he'll come and, uh, he'll come and tow it out. So I think we'll set the camera up and capture its removal. Bye bye Alpha, bye bye. She's a gunner. Look at the space we've got. So now I've pushed this over here a little bit. I've just moved these few bits and bobs and we'll be able to set the roller up in its position. I've just spent an hour and a half fitting those doors that Dave brought me last week and I think they look top. Look at that. And I also installed the automatic closers up here if you look there we go so they close nicely and you know what's really amazing well you might not think it's totally amazing if I let both doors go at the same time I've made them so they shut perfectly watch It's the small things. Right then. I thought this water down here was the remnants of the installation for the water pipe. But it turns out, yet again, another one of these brass sockets has failed. And there's a little nick just there. And it's leaking. Why do they split? I'm not over tightening.
So I can't recall, I can't recall showing you this working yesterday. So we'll have a go. This is the reset button up the top. We are in forward. And then we've got the start and stop button here. Make sure everything's clear. Flip the switch and then run it backwards. She is she is prehistoric, but she is a beast nonetheless. And just like that, the day's over. I've got a nip up home. Gemma needs the car to take the kids to the opticians or dentist, I can't remember which. So we're gonna go there, I might join her, or I might do a little bit of accounting. I've got some paperwork to file. Yes, riveting stuff. So this is one of the letters which form part of the admin that I've gotta get through this afternoon. Now, when we moved into the unit, British Gas were the last people to supply uh, gas to the company. But we don't have a gas meter on the premises. Thanks Chance for opening door. We don't have a gas meter on the premises and we don't have a gas supply yet British Gas are still pestering us for money for a gas meter that doesn't belong to us. Now they've passed it on to a debt recovery company and they want £265.35p. There it is. £265.35p. Threaten, 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 threaten. There is not even a gas meter in the building. So bring it on British Gas, we'll see you in court pal. To Phelps at five. He looks happy to see me. What's going on there? Well, I've just come back to the unit folks to pick up um, some super glue and I've picked up some activator because there's some plastic that's broken off the door at home around the glass which I'm going to fix this evening. But while I was at home uh, waiting for Gemma and the kids to take them to the dentist I managed to read some of the comments that was left on yesterday's video and I just want to take a moment to say thanks to everybody out there for all of the unyielding support that everyone's throwing my way I'm confident what I'm doing is the right thing and uh, I sleep well at night because I uh, I firmly believe that I have ethics and values and I stick to my guns um, and I'm genuinely not out to rip anybody off. Some people aren't like that. And for everybody to just see that and understand that that's exactly my approach um, and, su and support me in what I'm doing and just being there for me, even it, whether it's in the YouTube comments, on Facebook or in person when I speak to people in person everybody seems to have my back i even spoke to a couple of people today out of the industry who rang me completely out of the blue uh, but one of the chaps has asked me to go and judge at seba on uh, at beer x you know what amazing people there are out there and sometimes i'm blown away by it all so thank you finally home six o'clock not that long a day then i guess but I'm going to wrap it up here, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Gonna watch, watch pitch, pitch Perfect. Yeah, we can watch Pitch Perfect if you like. Again. Mm.